This video is brought to you by ShopZobi.com. ShopZobi.com is your number one source for authentic celebrity autographs. Today, I've got a $500 Funko Pop mystery box from the company Toy USA. We got another high roller box. And you know me, I love these high roller boxes. They're a lot of fun. But before we jump into this big boy box, you know what we gotta do? It is appetizer time. So I have here our two $20 box from the company Chrono Toys. These were purchased back, I think in July. And they're 20 bucks a piece. Pretty much guaranteed value. You might make a few bucks. There's there's always a few grails available, but grails are few and far between because we actually don't know how many boxes that they actually sell for these like cheaper runs. It could be a thousand boxes with like four or five top hits. So I mean the odds to get out like a grail are like under 1%. It's not good, but somebody gets them. I have, I think like one time of Chrono Toys ever gotten like the like the big grail hit. It happens, but not very often. You gotta buy a lot to eventually hit a grail. Here we go. First appetizer, first warm up. Let's see what we got. We got gold chrome Darth Vader. That's super cool looking though. This is a shared sticker with, was this? Wasn't box lunch, was it? No. It's actually really cool. Actually, Vader looks pretty cool gold chromed out. Let's go ahead and pull up. Let's see the PPG value of this first pop. PPG on this is 19 bucks. So in the past month, it pretty much, what, it lost a dollar in value. But I'd rather break even or lose money on this one and do well on the $500 box, obviously. So like all these pops will be for sale in a future whatnot auction if you don't follow me on whatnot already make sure you download the app driving down below once you download it search for my name franchise kicks all one word make sure you follow me on whatnot and i'll see you in a live auction where you can buy from me live it's a lot of fun auction off every other sunday night number two warm-up box number two appetizer we have darth maul 2019 Galactic Convention Exclusive. This is actually shared with Walgreens. That I do know. Shared with Walgreens. This thing's minty too. Really that much already? Wow. 44 bucks. This is this thing just keeps going up in value like all the time. Every time, every time I look it up, it's gone up a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Craziness. 44 bucks. So combined, I got what about $60 back in value. I spent 40 go back 60. I did okay. In the grand scheme for the warm-up boxes. And all these pops like these will be put in 7 bucks pop, pop shield, pop protectors before I sell them. That is the official pop protector of this YouTube channel. But now are you ready for the main course, the Coupe de Gras? This is the Toy USA Funko Pop $500 High Roller Mystery Box of 4 Pops Summer Edition. Total of 40 total boxes, 500 bucks a box. Pops condition wise are 7 out of 10 or better, so with 7 out of 10 some pops can have some minor damage to them minor box tears, small issues. There shouldn't be anything like totally trash in this box. But here's the important part. The box values range between 350 bucks to over a thousand. So that means some people are going to lose $150 a box. That's a gamble. That's why I say with these expensive mystery, with any mystery box, if you can't afford to, if you cannot afford to lose your money, do not buy mystery boxes. Just buy what you actually want. Because of this, I could literally lose 150 bucks and get four pops that, eh, it's, it's a risk. It's a gamble. Okay. Top hit is the two pack bank robber Joker. That's what we're going for. That's what everybody's going for in this, in this box run. Top hit. I know I've, I got the bank robber Joker before out of a mystery box. I sold it earlier this year in a whatnot auction for like 1200 bucks. It's so like that pop is worth realistically over double what you paid for this box. That's what we're all gunning for. So in order for some people to, you know, literally make like $700, some people have to lose some money. That's just the mystery box game. Not everybody's going to win. 
box is double box for extra protection. They usually double box their expensive ones, packing peanuts in the bottom. The very famous Toy USA packing peanuts that we all love to hate. Do it upside down so we cannot see the pops. Here we go. If I reach in, if I feel a two pack, I say there's a very good chance I got top hit. Because I don't know how many two packs are in this. There, there could have been two or three, but if I feel a two pack, there's a good possibility it's top hit. You want to find out? 500 bucks. 500 bucks. I love these expensive boxes. <laughs> They're my favorite. Whew. Here we go. Moment of truth. Come on, two pack. Come on, two pack. Come on, two pack. I got a heart stack though, but there is no two pack. So right off the bat, I already know, did not get top hit. But even with no top hit, it doesn't mean I struck out though. That does not mean I struck out, but. Okay, so the other three pops, every box is four pops, other three pops, Ooh, little teaser. They're upside down, you, you, know, you can't even see which, which, what the pops are. The other three, no pop protectors. That is a fantastic sign. That's what you want. But Toy USA, you want like your three pops, no protectors, cheap in value, and that one other pop that's in a protector, a hard stack, to be expensive. We got a stack. Here we go. First one, no protector. If I can get it out. The first one's always the hardest to get out. There we go. The back says Spider-Man. Very, very cool pop though. Spider-Man. Amazing face number 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man. Okay, so I don't want to peek just for fun. As we go along, we're kind of kind of kind of gonna gauge the price. No more editing during this video. You're just gonna have to sit through my rambling and my whatever. We're gonna figure out how much these cheaper pops are worth. Nine bucks, that's good. So much these are worth to figure out ahead of time maybe how big that last pop could possibly be. First one, nine bucks, but I honestly, this pop here is straight up very, very cool with that first appearance of Spider-Man. I like that pop, that's actually, I actually have to hold on to that, to that one. But I, I love Spider-Man. Here we go, next one. The back says Soul Eater. I don't know the value of the, a lot of the anime pops. GameStop exclusive patty. I don't know if that's worth a lot or not. Fingers crossed though, it's worth like 10 bucks or less. That's our goal. We want cheap, cheap, cheap for these first three. It's thinking, it's still thinking, $8. That's awesome. Pop number two, we're looking at a total right now of 17 bucks for the first two pops. That's awesome, 17 bucks. Pop number three, the back says it. Beverly Marsh, okay, not the Chase. The Chase is like 30, 40 bucks. The common one, I think it's worth like eight or nine bucks. I've had this thing many, many of times. Once again, let's look this thing up live. No ets, no cutting. We're just, we're just going, we're just going. Eight dollars. The first three pops are only 25 bucks. That is very good. Guaranteed value in this box was 350 bucks. That means this pop that is in a hard stack is a minimum of $325. Minimum of $325. So if it's actually the minimum, I still lose a lot of money. But at least you know that whichever pop is in this one is going to be a pretty big hit no matter what. We hit a grail. Ready to find out which one this is? Three. Two. One. Oh, that's a good one. We hit the bloody Billy. First time I've ever had this pop. 2,500 piece SDCC 2014 
glow in the dark bloody billy from solve this thing is like a horror pop grail i know ppg on this one is wrong why because the market is flooded with these as fakes that are coming in right now from china and the fakes are so rampant that they're actually it hurt it, it manipulates the ppg value whenever an authentic one comes to market it always sells way over ppg value and looking through this pop protector this one let me just take this one out this one through the protector looks very very minty come on let's see what it looks like wow that one is literally almost literally like perfect condition this box has no flaws this one's selling for a pretty big premium this is a seven-year-old pop it is a massive grail and this box is mint let's see value so the ppg value it's saying is 890 dollars this box condition it'll sell for a thousand dollars easy these older pops like this that survived a comic-con only 2500 pieces made this box is mint and, I, and i've actually i've checked all the telltale signs this is also this is not counterfeit this is 100 percent authentic the sticker's authentic the pop everything matches up to how the authentic should look the box yeah this thing is 100 percent authentic but this you gotta be super careful this pop there are so many fakes out there you gotta be so careful but yeah this is a big hit so if you just go by pure ppg value let me put this thing back in, into the case before i do anything else i do not want this thing to accidentally get damaged or dropped or anything happen to this thing because no joke this pop is literally it's gym mint condition no joke this thing is perfect perfect shape so if you go by PPG value, this box is 915 bucks. If you go by PPG, but this pop will sell for around a thousand dollars. Older pops, if you can find one that is as mint as this one is, you always get over PPG. Always, I, I've sold thousands of pops over the years, and uh, I don't think I've seen a Billy Bloody in this good a condition. I've seen a lot of this is the first one that I've actually owned, but I've seen a lot in person, going to conventions. I've seen a lot of pictures and I've never seen one in this good a condition. Whoever owned this thing for the past seven years, this thing has been in a case since the day they had it. Okay, so this actually was the third best hit. There was two hits more expensive than this one. How crazy is that? But yeah, this is number three. Third best box to get out. Very happy. The Funko Bad Guy freaking destroyed this box.